This video is about zero coupon bonds and from its name, zero coupon, it means that they don't give coupon payments regu regularly. All what you will receive is face value only at maturity. So let's get a numerical example here. Let's assume that we have a face value of 100. We have a maturity of three years and we have coupon rate of 0% because it's a zero coupon bond. They don't distribute any coupon payments and the yield maturity is 10%. So, can we calculate coupon payment? We don't need to calculate it because it's called zero coupon bond. Or if we'd like to use the formula, the formula of coupon payment is coupon rate times face value, 0% times 100, it will give us zero. Therefore, it will be zero here. Then, what will be the bond price? We know that our bond price formula is the present value of coupon payments plus the present value of face value. This type of a bond is called zero coupon bond, which means we don't have any coupon payment. Therefore, we don't need to use the first part of the formula because here the coupon payment is zero. Therefore, the bond price formula for zero coupon bond is face value multiplied by one plus i close bracket to the bar negative n. Therefore, in this example, our bond price will be 100 multiplied by open bracket one plus yield to maturity of 10% close bracket to the bar negative three. This will give us a bond price of 75.13. So what will be the bond type in this example? In this example, we know that we have a bond price of 75.13, which is lower than the face value of 100. Therefore, we trade this bond at a discount. That's why it's a discount bond. Consequently, we could say that all zero coupon bonds are considered discount bonds. Why? Because we said that what is the formula of zero coupon bond? This is the present value of face value. So all the times the present value will be lower than the face value, which means bond price will always be lower than face value. Consequently, it will always be a discount bond. And also we can make a relationship between coupon rate and yield to maturity. All the time coupon rate will be lower than yield to maturity. Why? Because coupon rate is zero. So zero is lower than 10% yield to maturity. And that's why the bond type is discount bond. So what will be the bond price over time? We know that for discount bond, the bond price is lower than face value, and at maturity, the bond price must be equal to face value. Therefore, the bond price of a discount bond or the bond price of a zero coupon bond will increase every period until it reaches face value at maturity. Then, what will be our current yield? So what is the current yield formula? It's coupon divided by bond price. We know that our coupon will be zero because this is a zero coupon bond. Therefore, zero divided by bond price, which is 75.13, it will give us 0%. Therefore, for a zero coupon bond, all the time current yield will be 0%. Then what about capital gain yield? What is the formula of capital gain yield? It's yield to maturity minus current yield. What's our yield to maturity? 10%. What's our current yield? It's always 0%. So it will be 10%. Therefore, we could say that for zero coupon bonds, current yield is always equal to zero, while the capital gain yield is always equal to yield to maturity. And that's why it's very important to know the relationships in bond valuation in general, and for zero coupon bond in particular here, which means zero coupon bonds will always be a discount bond, which means bond price will always be lower than face value, Coupon rate will always be lower than yield to maturity. Bond price will increase over time. Current yield is equal to 0%. Capital gain yield is always equal to yield to maturity. And that's why if you know the relationships, you could save a lot of calculations time.